So I came here with my mom and my little sister. I was three years old. My mom was about 24 or so, and my sister was about a year old. So we were pretty small when we came here. I can honestly say I do not remember oh, yeah, <laughs> anything. So, huh? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could, but my memory's just not that good. But I do have, um, mem the memories I have are memories that my mom has passed down to me. So whatever she's told me, uh, I know that we came through the desert. Uh, there wasn't a pathway for us at that time, uh, unless we waited 20 years, and that just wasn't something that we could do so um, I just know that my mom says it, it was a pretty rough trip and that she it, it's she it was hard and she she doesn't think she could do it again <laughs> what uh, what was uh, kind of the circumstances that you know forced in a certain sense you might undertake uh, such a journey so my mom was my biological father was very abusive and the last time he he beat her she was almost left dead and it was actually like on Mother's Day so she after that she made the decision to escape and she went to the only family she had which was in Long Beach California so um, she really had no other option the only other option was to have her brother petition for her but it would have been a 20-year wait and she just didn't have that much time she had to escape uh, what she was living because she didn't want to have children um, that were left as orphans and would basically become children of the dump, which are children that are, I mean, probably all over the world, but in Mexico you see it a lot. I'm from Mazatlan, and they, they have little children that are left as orphans because mom and dad pass away or something happens, and they they live in the dumps, and that's, that's where they get their food. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we arrived in Long Beach, California. I lived there for about three years, and then we moved to Marshalltown, Iowa, was the first community in Iowa that we lived in, and we're so ever grateful for, for living there because we were, I think, some of the first students that had to take ESL classes. Uh, our Spanish or English was not the best at the time, but since then we moved. Um, so we lived in Marshalltown, Waterloo, Iowa, and then we. I grew up mostly in New Hampton, Iowa, which New is Hampton. a small rural farming community. I am now in financing, so I do mortgages for for families to be able to achieve the American dream. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So being very very productive, having gone through our whole college age, and now in a certain sense paying back so to speak in helping others and achieving that goal well I hope to continue uh, building my career keep growing within my career I I love what I do I love being able to open doors for for people I like helping families achieve the American dream so I'm really happy with that but also just in general leave this world a little better than than how I came to it